Z95, The Bone, Bone in Your Backyard, music from Tim Crosby. That one's called Good Jobs. It's off uh, the brand new album called Resurrection Mule Farm. And ladies and gentlemen of the Bonehead Nation, I introduce to you Mr. Tim Crosby. Tim, how are you, sir? Hey, how are you? Thanks for having me on. Dude, thank you for being here, and thank you for driving quite a long way to, to come here. We're, you're from Southern Illinois, right? Yeah, Southern Illinois, around uh, well, south of Carbondale. South of Carbondale, yeah. that's quite a drive, my friend. A drive. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, the album in, in more detail here in a second, but first I want to know about you. Um, how long have you been playing music, man? No, oh, I started my first band when I was 13 years old. <laughs> <laughs> it's been on and off since then, but uh, yeah. you know, um, in recent times I've been writing um, music, um, you know, playing all original music around Southern Illinois, Central Illinois, Missouri, Kentucky and uh, played over 100 shows the last two years, uh, either myself or me with my trio or with the full band, which is on the album. So, uh, The full band's called And the Lightning Strikes, is Lightning that right? Lightning Strikes, yeah. Lightning Strikes, mm -hmm. man. Um, very talented stuff here. And uh, Tim, for those who don't know you, they don't know your music, how would you describe your music to folks? Uh, I, I describe it as Americana, country rock. Um, I'm influenced very heavily by people like Steve Earle, or Chris Knight, um, uh, Tom Petty was a was a big guy for me growing up. Um, you know, Lightning Strikes are pretty much modeled on the Heartbreakers. It's the same instrumentation, and uh, uh, so that's the kind of stuff we do. I try to say sometimes it's like maybe John Prine meets Tom Petty, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Not that we're like that good, but just I'm just saying that's kind of what we do. Uh, you guys, uh, we, we've been playing the, the song Good Jobs here on Bone Your Backyard here for, for quite a while. What's that song about? Can you tell us about it? Well, uh, I was introduced that as, you know, this is about finding a good job if you can find one. Um, I love living in this, you know, I'm from the mid Midwest and uh, lived in Southern Illinois for many years now. And it's a great part of the state to live in if you can find a way to support yourself. It's tough, and it's tough for a lot of, you know, I think a lot of people in a lot of different states, a lot of different areas, the Midwest, the Rust Belt, and uh, I'm of that area, and uh, you know, it's a story I've known my entire life, growing up and watching people struggle with that. All right, well, here's kind of a silly question for you: You doing the music thing? Do you consider do you, do you consider that a good job? Do you do you enjoy it still? <laughs> yeah, it's a good job. I mean, I have a, another job as well <laughs> because it wouldn't be that good a job. But I mean, it's it's definitely a passion for me and something that I. I know a lot of musicians like me who just say, you know, it's cheaper than therapy. You know, if we don't if we don't play, it's not good for us or the people around us. So we uh, we tend to play uh, as much as we can. The album is called Resurrection Mule Farm. That is quite a name for the album. Can you explain it for us? Yeah, it's a little. Uh, it's got a story to it. You might imagine. Um, I was looking for a place to live a few years ago. And was looking out in the country, and uh, me and my my fiance were both looking for a place. And um, finally came upon this little 17-acre uh, place and and uh, 100-year-old farmhouse. And it looked right. And we talked to the owner who was there, and he walked us around the property. Told us this story about back in the 20s and 30s when this farmer lived there. He was out, and it's a true story. He, he was out plowing his field with a couple of mules. They got hit by lightning. Oh my goodness! <laughs> and it was witnessed by several people. And they thought it killed them, and they went out there to uh, sort of collect the bodies, and one of the mules woke up. And my fiancé, who is a writer as well, um, has a flair for words, said, well, that's it. This place is called Resurrection Mule Farm, and we'll take it, basically. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's that's uh, what happened there. And the reason we named the album, and that's where the, the band name comes from, the Lightning Strikes. And um, that's where we put the band together. That's where our first rehearsals were just seemed appropriate to uh to call the album that so the album has uh 12 tracks on it how long of a process how long of a process was it from writing to recording to getting everything out how long was it a good solid year i mean i write songs all the time we recorded probably 20 songs uh those were the ones we could kind of finish and get done for this one um so it took about a year a solid year we recorded at um What's the place? Um, Misunder Studio in um, in um, Murfreesboro, mm -hmm. and uh, also Molehole Studios in Carbondale. We kind of split the difference there, and 
Sweet. It sounds good, man. Thank you. Yeah. It sounds very, very good. Yeah. Let me ask you about your writing style. Is it something, when you write a song, is it something about you personally or someone you know personally, or is it more just stories of, of things you want to get out there? Uh, you know, I think a lot of people start out writing about themselves, and I don't think that, I think that's inevitable, but mm. hopefully you, you mature as a writer and you grow older. You're able to, to incorporate things from your life, but also pe from other people's lives, and and just things you see, maybe um, you know different different narratives, mm -hmm. and you um, try to be very honest in them. That's that's to me the key for to make a song resonate with anyone. <clears throat> it's got to be honest, um, otherwise it just doesn't work. Well, cool. I'm interested in hearing some more stuff from you. You're going to do a couple of acoustic songs for us, right? Yeah, I'd love to play a couple for you. Too. All right, tell you what, man. Let's do uh, pay some bills really quick, and we'll come back with uh, Tim Crosby. He'll play a couple of acoustic songs for us right here during the Bone Your Backyard show. Margarita's Weather Cam. It's Bone in Your Backyard, brought to you by Hayes Music Store. We've got Southern Illinois recording artist Tim Crosby right here live in the Z95 studio, ready to do an acoustic song. Tim, what do you have first up for us? I got a song here It's called Second Best. I wrote this a few weeks ago, and I'm um, kind of happy with the song. Play that one for you. All right, whenever you're ready, sir. on these walls Don't want to feel nothing at all Oh, I used to run but now I crawl Ever since I took the fall So pour some whiskey in my cup I'm her favorite runner-up Only she can make me understand I'm nothing but an also red Oh, I never tried so hard before Pacing circles on the floor Pounding wildly on her door Praying God don't let it hurt no more Oh, I passed the test Better than most of the rest But I'm still second best no running from the past well, at least I didn't come in last so I'll push it down till I don't feel anything that might be real then the panic will set in Think of her alone with him Oh, it must be some kind of mistake It's causing my poor heart to break Cause I never cried like this before Walking circles on the floor Pounding wildly on her door Praying God don't let it hurt no more Oh, I pass the test Better than most of the rest But I'm still second best Cause I never tried so hard before Pacing circles on this floor Pounding wildly on her door 
praying God don't let it hurt no more. Oh, I passed the test better than most the rest, but I'm still second best. Z95, the bone, it's bone in your backyard. Brought to you by Hayes, a music store. That is music from Tim Crosby. The name of the song is called Second Best. Tim, beautiful song. Can you Thank tell you. us a little bit about that song? Uh, you know, that's not really, um, I don't know. That one just came out one night. Um, I'd been working on a couple different melodies, and I had a few lines, and it just sort of, I, I hit that line where it uh, uh, says, I passed the test better than most of the rest. And it was kind of off from there. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you find it um, with with your writing? Do you find it um, to come that easy, or sometimes sometimes do songs take quite a bit for you? Yeah, I mean, it, it sometimes they fall right out of your right out of your head mm -hmm. and right into your lap, and then sometimes you just you hit a dry spell for a while. Um, I don't know. Um, you know, people have different theories on this stuff. I, I I try to have to get to my mind to where it's not thinking about anything. I, I think you have to kind of be open to receive something sometimes. That's the way I look at it. That's the way it's been my experience. Now, you said that song's only a few weeks old. Is uh, any plans to put that on the next album? I'd love to put that one on the next one, yes. Yeah, well, I'm hoping to get in the studio with the band again um, this winter and start start another c CD soon, you know. Um, we're, we have plenty of stuff. It's, <laughs> it's getting getting the everything organized. So. Well, cool, man. You're gonna do one more for us. What's the name of this one? Sure. Um, this one's called "The Water Cuts the Stone." Getting, getting the everything organized. So. Well, cool, man. You're gonna do one more for us. What's the name of this one? Sure. Um, this one's called "The Water Cuts the Stone." And um, I guess this is about kind of uh, the forces that shape our lives. Sometimes those uh, things get uh, something will shape your life in an instant. And sometimes it takes years. So I guess that's the philosophy on this one. This one's called The Water Cuts the Stone. All right, whenever you're ready.
polishes the flaws While gravity alleges it can't take down an outlaw And I wonder if I'm destined to ever make it home Well, it cuts me down to nothing Like water cuts a stone Z95, The Bone, Tim Crosby, his song, Water Cuts the Stone, right here on Bone in Your Backyard. Great job once again, sir. Thank, Thank you, you. For, for doing that up for us. Um, the new album is called Resurrection Mule Farm. Can people pick this one up, Tim? Yeah, it's on iTunes, it's on Amazon, it's on all those places where you can download music. And uh, I even have a few copies left, so. And uh, can people pick these up at some of your shows and stuff? Oh yeah, I carry them with me, and... Uh, like I said, we played 100 shows. This I think I'm at 105 this year. And um, so we're always somewhere, either in southern Illinois. We're playing in Missouri. We're in Scott City. Sometimes we're in um, Cape. We've been in Jackson. So and trying to play a few other places in uh, in the show me state. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get over here more. I like this thing. Get over here. Um, if people want to follow you, are you on Facebook and social media?